What is going on guys? My name is Carlos Valentin and I am a Udemy instructor that teaches advanced Android concepts. Now for this small tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make an advanced recycler view that hosts a search bar at the very top and some elements at the bottom. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at the finished product here inside of my emulator. Alrighty, so here we can see that we do have the search bar on top and then some elements, in this case football teams. So if we scroll down there, you guys can see th this is the rest. And if we click on the football team, it just says its name. Now what makes this recycler view advanced is that the search bar is actually part of the recycler view and that's why we're able to scroll down and the search bar scrolls down as well. If the search bar was not part of the recycler view then when we scroll down the recycler view the search bar would actually just stay on top. So this is going to be our finished goal. Let's get started guys. Alright so we're going to go ahead and start a new project. So file new, new project. Let's just call this one, let's just say slide nerd. And then let's just say recycler view. Okay, looks good. And cook me domain can be anything. I'm just gonna say carlos.com. Sure. Alrighty, so let's actually go ahead and click next here. The SDK min 16, that's fine. Next. And then make sure you guys actually select empty activity next. Everything's fine there. Okay, let's go ahead and click finish. Alrighty, so the project finished building. Now, in this video, we're gonna start off by first grabbing all of our dependencies. And then after that, we're actually just gonna make our little layouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and wanna do one of these, close all. Let's open up the build scripts and the build doc radle. So the first dependency we're going to grab is called butter knife. Now butter knife is a way to bind views and do it neatly. So let's actually come here into our web browser and we're gonna, gonna do one of these. Okay, so go ahead and just type in butter knife, which is there. Open up the actual GitHub instead of the website. So let's go into the GitHub account here. Let's go all the way down and we're going to grab, so these dependencies, go ahead and copy these. Now, this is going to run on the newest version of Android Studios, which I believe is 2.2. So let me just go ahead and make sure. I'm going to do this. Just open up build.gradle. And yeah, this is 2.2.2. So if you guys don't have this version, it's not going to work because, again, this is the newest version. And this version of Butter Knife is designed specifically for this version. So go ahead and update your, your Android Studios if you need to. But again, if you do not have this version here, it might not work. Okay, so let's actually go back into app. Now that we have our two dependencies here, let's go back into the actual GitHub because we need a few more things. We need to go ahead and grab this Maverick Central here and we're going to paste that inside our, should be there. Let's actually paste this inside our, this is our project build doc radle. So I'm actually going to close this again. So we have our build doc radle, our normal one. Then we have our project build doc radle. So inside here, go ahead and paste this inside repositories. Okay, looks good. Let's go back into the actual browser and we do need this class path here. So whoop, let me try that again. All right, so looks good. And let's paste that back here inside our class path dependencies. Okay, so after that guys, let's actually go back into build doc radle. We do need to put in a plugin. So if we go back into our web browser, we need to grab this plugin here. Okay, and let's go ahead and put this down there. So this is gonna go at the very bottom. Okay, so with that, butter knife is all set. Now we do need one more thing. Let's actually go back into our web browser. Go ahead and type in Picasso by Square. And if you just type in Picasso, you're actually gonna get Pablo Picasso, but let's just do Square. And if you guys haven't used Picasso, it's just a way to load images by the URL. So it's really cool. So let's actually click on the very first one. And for this one, all we need is just one dependency. It should be down here. So there we go. Go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste that there into our dependency already so now we do need two more the first one being recycle view and then the second one being a card view so let's actually come here to file let's go into project structure let's go here into app let's go into dependencies a little plus sign there this should be library dependency and okay so let's actually just find them card view should just be kind of right here let me just pull this there okay so there's card view there Okay, now we do need a recycler view as well. So let's just grab one more. Should just be there it is, so recycler view. I just kind of found them, but you guys can type them out if you'd like. Okay, so that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and click OK to sync these dependencies. Alrighty guys, so our project finished building its dependencies and everything's looking good. Again, if you guys had problems with butter knife, make sure one more time to update your Android Studios. All right, so I'm actually gonna close this. Now we're gonna focus on two layouts. So let's actually come here into our rest folder. Let's go into layout. Go ahead and right click new layout resource file. We're actually gonna call this one header recycler view. So header recycler view. And just like it says, it's gonna be the little header, which is just gonna have the little search bar. So let's actually go ahead and click okay. Okay, so go into text and I'm gonna space this out a little bit. 
So this, this view is only going to have one element, which is going to be an edit text. Now, if you guys don't know, if you only do have one element inside of view, you guys should use frame layout instead of linear layout. So I'm going to come here and just go ahead and click flame layout. I'm going to get rid of this orientation. So control Y. That's a nice little shortcut, guys, to delete a line. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just say edit text. So now the width, let's just say match parent, and then the height is going to be wrap content because we don't want it taking up the whole screen. As a matter of fact, this frame layout should also be wrap content. So wrap Okay, looks good, kind of. And let me just try one more time. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this edit text here, guys, we do need a few more things. So let's actually pull up our preview really quick. So it's just a little edit text there. Let's go ahead and just give it an ID. So ID, ID, we're gonna call this one header, recycler view, and let's just say edit text. Okay, looks good. So now after that, guys, let's give it a hint. So let's just type in hint, and let's just say search for your team or for a team it looks good alrighty so now this is pretty much it now it doesn't look very fantastic we do need to add a little bit more style to it so let's actually come, come here into drawable right click new drawable resource file and let's just call this one maybe search underscore bar underscore drawable okay that looks good and all right so there we go now here we're actually gonna build how we want the actual search bar to look like. So again, in our case, we want it to look just like this. So let's actually come here into our values first. Let's go ahead and click on colors. So inside colors, we're gonna have two colors here. The first one's just gonna say color name. We're just gonna say white. Now, if you guys know white, it's just hashtag FFF three times. Okay, that looks good. Then the second one, guys, I actually want a nice little gray color. So color name here, we're just gonna go ahead and just choose gray. It just looks like that, okay? And then the gray hashtag is just, or the hex code, I mean. So gray, and then, no, oh, this should actually be outside there. This is just going to say hashtag 757575. So that's a little gray color. Okay, so let's, let's actually go back into search bar drawable. So inside here, guys, we need to define a few things. First of all, let's just do one of these. We need an item here. So just to go ahead and type in item. Okay, so inside item, we're going to grab a shape. Okay, so inside shape here, we're going to go ahead and start defining. So now we first need a gradient. So in this gradient, guys, we're going to go ahead and just say angle. This is going to be 270. So after that, we're going to say end color. This is just, we're just going to use at color white. Okay, looks good. So then star color, same thing, at color white. Okay, so after this gradient, go ahead and close the tag. So now, guys, we're actually going to say stroke, which is just going to give it a, a nice little border. So now for the width, we're going to just define 1DP, so just nice and thin border there. Now after that, we're actually going to grab the color of the stroke, it's going to be gray, so that's color, gray, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to grab the corners, and I want it to have just a nice little radius of 10DP, so let's just type in radius, 10DP. Okay, so forward slash finishes the tag, and finally we just, I want to give it a little bit of padding, so now here we're just going to say padding. And we're going to say bottom, 5dp. There we go. And then it's going to be the same for all of it. So left, 5dp. And then after that, right, 5dp. It's reading my mind. Okay. So then after that, we have top. And then finally, 5dp. It's actually close that tag there. Okay. So looks good. Let's go back into our actual header recycler view layout there. And so inside here, we're just going to say drawable. Or actually, this should be background. So background and at drawable. Search bar, so there we go. Okay, so now we have that there. Alrighty, so now just to give it a little bit more style, let's actually come here and give it a margin. So just margin, let's give it maybe just 10 dp, which is there, okay, makes it look a little bit better. Now I do want a little search icon there in the little left, so it looks a little bit better. So let's actually come here into mint map, right click new, image assets. I'm gonna go ahead and put this like that. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shape of none. I'm gonna call this little bitmap asset of bars. We're gonna say IC, maybe just search bar. It looks good. I'm gonna give it the clip bar here. So now for the little magnifying glass or the little search glass, go ahead and go into action. I'm gonna, there we go. Just go all the way down and it should be right there. Okay, looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it the same color as our stroke. So foreground here, that should be hashtag 757575 which is just a, ni a nice gray. Okay, so now everything looks good. And I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller. You can change the, the size of it by just the padding. 
so just a little bit smaller okay looks good and i'm gonna go ahead and click next and finally finish okay so now finally to, to finish this off we're just gonna say drawable start and add mip map search bar okay so now there it is and then of course we can also just type in here so when you guys use star you guys should also use left just in case anyone's using an older device so now this is just going to say mip map oh whoops i forgot the yeah so at mip map oh yeah and, and this actually is just that should actually be drawable <laughs> so drawable and then this should be left so let's see here here for some reason so this is drawable yeah drawable left okay so it's just giving me a hard time so one more time i'm just gonna actually just gonna copy this for some reason it's not auto completing for me which is kind of a pain but it's okay and then here we're just gonna say left much better so now finally we can just say at mip map same thing search bar okay now just to wrap up the video guys i am gonna pull up my actual profile for udemy so here we go this is me right there like i said before i do have four courses one on rx java firebase parsing json data and android ui go ahead guys if you guys like go ahead and take one of them i guarantee you will not be disappointed and if you'd like to take all four you will learn a ton i also do have a youtube channel here called beats android development and here i just have a bunch of little videos to help kind of just help you guys out all right guys that's all i have i hope you guys enjoyed this is the end for this tutorial i will see you guys next time but until then don't forget to keep coding